And it's so juicy. Oh, she asked us mm. if oh, we wow. wanted soy sauce. Nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cup and cab. You're beautiful. <laughs> bye bye. That's why I love it so much. Thai people are the best. Those are the Literally the best people in the world. Sabatika, everybody. Today we are at the night market that is probably our favorite night market in all of Thailand, which is the Owl Market in Nontaburi. So uh, let's go and have some food. Let's go and shop around a little while. Luke already is finding something. Look at those. Follow your dreams, not me. Not me, not me. <laughs> not me. My yeah, welcome to the Owl Market. So this is uh, quite literally our favorite mar uh, night market in, I think, all of Thailand. I think we've compared a lot of different places that we visited over our last four visits to Thailand. And this one just tops the list every single time, pretty much. Food. Clothing, secondhand clothing, everything. You've got barbers, you have nail bars, you have barbecue, you have everything. Literally under one sort of open space. I wanted to say one roof, but there is only probably one roof here. The rest is all open <laughs> plan. But yeah, this place is unbelievable. It's such a good time and people here are very friendly. It's a very local vibe as well. So two thumbs up. Exactly, that's what I wanted to say. We were just talking about it in the taxi on the way here actually. And um, we have some favorite markets that are just food related. We have other favorite markets that are just clothing related and uh, some that are a little bit more touristy and I feel like this is sort of the market for clothes, food, secondhand clothes. But it's also very, very local and locally priced, which is the most important thing. I already saw some orange juice there that was only 25 baht. And I remember paying 70 baht in Chinatown for the same uh, bottle. So yeah, this is the place to come. So guys, they actually have a secondhand shoe collection here of uh, stuff that they're selling tons and tons and tons of shoes and they actually have farang size as well so size 43 to 45 that's actually my size range so i cannot believe this and they're selling the shoes for only 200 baht that's five euro which is around six us dollars so if you go to a night market like chatu chak naomi actually just said this to me if you go to chatu chak weekend market which is happening today as well you get secondhand shoes, but you're gonna pay easily around three times that price just because tourists go there. Here, tourists don't frequent here as much, so you're gonna get literally secondhand Yeezys, Nikes, Adidas, anything you can think of, that, anything that's available for five bucks, crazy value. So keep that in mind. I might actually have a look and get myself a pair uh, if, I, if I see something that I like. I can already see some tie-dye vents for uh, 300 yeah. but actually this one is 300 but so I do think that they sort of maybe separate a little bit in terms of quality these ones here are 200 but these ones seem to be 300 but and then over there maybe a little bit of a mix of both of them so yeah very good uh, bargain I believe in uh, Chatuchak I had paid 10 bucks and these ones here are 5 bucks so 50% cheaper can't really ask for anything else so guys, I suppose I'll give you a quick little glance over of what this market is all about. So there's literally an entire section that is probably around uh, one kilometer at least long that starts over here and goes all the way down here. And that's basically all clothing. So you've got secondhand clothing, new clothing. You even have toys, you have accessories, you have everything, literally anything that you can think of. And then on the opposite side of that, you have food and the food section is even bigger than the clothing section you can get lost in the food section but when you go over to the clothing section it is even more daunting and overwhelming we said it the last time that we were here uh, this is a pretty overwhelming night market you need to know exactly what you're looking for and go and look for it or you can just sort of get lost in the madness as well <laughs> Oh she was really funny. She just she was on the phone and she went yeah. oh, oh, oh. So, oh, 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 but several times. So looked, <laughs> I was just looking at her like uh. I don't understand what's going on. But oh. yeah, the food section they even have like a hot pot type of section as well. But the hot pot section is always like focused on the seafood and fish and stuff like that. So 
I usually tend to go for pork and chicken yeah, yeah, if yeah. I can find it. But uh, my first stop is orange juice. Let's grab some orange juice. You want a small bottle too, or should I grab a big one? Just grab one big one, yeah. One big one. Ooh. That's a massive bottle of orange juice. It's huge. Juice. It's this one, no? This? 90 okay. baht, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's my favorite thing to do in all of Southeast Asia is buying orange juice. Oh, yeah. Kun Kab. Looks, uh, yeah, you're sorted for a while now. But I think uh, I think they mixed maybe a little bit of passion fruit in there. Oh, yeah. Because you have like a few of these, like, was it this one? I don't know, now it's hiding from me. I saw a few like black blobs here and there. <laughs> Ooh, sushi. Got a sushi section here, so I think 10 baht per piece. That yes. might be what it is, 10 baht per or piece 10, of sushi. I think 10 to 15, depending on what it is. Obviously, if you're gonna get salmon, it's gonna be more than 10 baht. Wow, some of that sushi looks good, actually. Look at the amount of fish eggs in this one, fish eggs. so much. This one, funnily enough, I like a lot, yeah. <laughs> even though it's fish. Fish eggs are good. Oh, and here you have curry. like some curries, mm. some Thai curries. That's what oh, you Thai want. Curry. Thai curry is the I best. Mean, it looks like they have spicy cupcakes or something. Yeah, they have like chili cupcakes. I don't know what they are. So I like Wow. So I like Wow. This one is eggs. What is this, this one? This one? Spicy. 20. No. No spicy. No spicy. It's just oh. fish, fish, fish. Fish. Oh. Fish. Yeah. Fish. Oh, yeah. okay. Really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how much? How much? 20 baht. 20 baht? Uh, uh, song? Song. Song. You are my song. 50. Okay, okay. Yes. You want this one maybe too? It's like a I need pork, fresh pork, pepper. Pork. Oh. Oh. Move. Move. <laughs> they have a fresh yeah. pepper in the... This, this one's spicy. This one's spicy. Good. Oh. All right, Mark. I like, I like spicy. Very mm. spicy. <laughs> yeah. You want to get a curry? I need this? A spicy this, this, this. Oh, yeah. okay. Like uh, this one, one this, yeah. three. Yeah. <laughs> Cup kum kab. Three, three for 50. Three for 50, You made yeah. a deal? Special deal. What is this one? How much? Uh, 50, 50. Yeah. okay, 100. 100. Nice, that's all right. Okay, for one cup. A 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 <laughs> good orange juice, good OJ. I'm living the life here. R.I.P. OJ. Tastes like uh, the, tastes like there's uh, no sugar in this one either. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Give it a try. Throw it in the bag. <laughs> wow, that's delicious. There's pieces in there as well. Yeah, bits. Like chunky, bits. chunky juice. Doesn't come more natural than this one. Nope, not at all. This lady is amazing, I love these two. Oh, Kapkun Kab, Kapkun Kab. Where you come from, my name? Germany. 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 You're from Nontaburi. Nontaburi. Nontaburi, nice. Oh, Kapkun Kab, you're beautiful. Bye bye. Oh, I love Thai Logan so much. Thai people are the best. I was on a coin. Literally the best people in the world. You're the fresh pancakes. Yeah. Oh, is he putting something black? What is he putting? Why is oh, it? no, it's black uh, dough. Sorry. Oh. It's the same one, but with a... I was wondering thing. why it's black. It's like squid ink or something. Maybe. Very cool. I don't know. I've never seen them in black. I've never seen kind that before. Kind of suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are, are these so? ones as well. <laughs> Balika. <laughs> ah. yes, we, we got some fish. Fish muffins. Or fish cupcakes. I don't know what exactly they are, but yeah. very excited to try them. I think it's gonna be a case for Luke. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> 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 
so cute. That was the oh, cutest yeah. dog I've ever seen. I'm so happy right now. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna. I'm emotional. It's fine. I cry in every video at least once. Oh yeah, Naomi's a. She's easy. She's easy to sort of trigger to start crying. Me, I'm a lot more sort of. Uh, a little bit stiffer. I should be probably more open with this type of stuff. I should be more emotional. This market is unbelievable. I think we should get like some more uh, some more food groups, like a uh, pork. No, we have pork. We should, we should uh, cover chicken. some more food groups. Chicken or beef? Maybe, yeah. We have fish, and we have a little bit of pork, so we need chicken and beef. Yeah. <laughs> or avocados. I don't know. Have a look at this mountain of everything that you can need. All different types of fruit. Very, very fresh. Oh, wow. This stand here, I believe, if I remember correctly, they have the best, the best fried, fried chicken, chicken that we've... skin and chicken in general. Amazing place. Uh, some of the best fried chicken that we've ever some? had. We should probably get some. Yeah, this is, honestly, guys, these are uh, some of the best fried chicken that we've ever had in our lives. I think we're going to try and get wanna, some here. Want to get drumstick or wings or uh, breasts? I like drumsticks. Drumsticks, drumsticks are four? good. Four, yeah. Uh, four. Balikab. Balikab. Oh, this one, four. And uh, this song. Song. So here they have the, the oil where I guess they're frying up the good stuff. And they have quite literally every part of the chicken. This is what Southeast Asia is all about. Every part of the chicken is fried up and presented and you can just basically pick whatever it is that you want. But yeah, this market is in full swing guys. It's Saturday night. So that was 100 baht for four uh, drumsticks of fried chicken. Not bad. It's 140. Oh, 140. Okay. For, uh, four drumsticks and two bags of chicken skin. <laughs> nice I couldn't one. say no to the chicken skin. I think the chicken skin is actually the thing that is more expensive than the drumsticks. Ah, that's all right. Do you want to sit down and have a try and then uh, we can walk around a little more after to see if we're still hungry? Absolutely. Sounds like a plan. I think this is the sit down area. Yeah, so there's a seating area guys just over here. Again, this is why we love this market so much is it feels like you are a part of the community. Well, they've got candy here. Candy, you you've got quail eggs. Oh wow, I love it. 60. Only 60 baht. 30 baht. Oh, oh half rice, there you go. <laughs> yeah, sure. Some quail eggs. They've, they've even got like a runny consistency. Wow, popcorn cab. Popping it off with soy sauce. Yeah, some, yeah, some pepper, nice. 30. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Sometimes I'm scared that I misunderstand bat. the pricing because of how affordable it is. So I'm just like, yep. is it actually under a euro for like that many quail eggs? Wow. Crazy good value, yeah. Very good. Right guys, let's go and grab ourselves a seat. Oh wow. What is that? I don't know. And amongst the seating you also have mountains of other stuff the, that you can buy. Are it. we on the wrong side? Okay. There guys. I'm gonna It's also like a <laughs> so loud. It's also like a flea market, so you can get loads of miscellaneous things as well that are second hand. I feel like uh, the owl market has a little bit of everything sort of. Yeah no, that is genuinely Swadikab, Swadikab. <laughs> you need a bank account? <laughs> uh, we want to open a Thai bank account. So this is the seating area. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very, very popular with the Thai locals of Nantaburi here. Very, very few foreigners or Farangs actually make their way to visit this market. So keep that in mind. If you do come here as yeah. a Farang, you're probably going to be the only Farang like us. There's a real language barrier as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True, I don't know true. where to sit. We need to sit with somebody just have to, else. We just have to sit at some random table. Yeah, you want to sit beside the bin? 
there's still uh, something free there. Oh, we just have to join someone. Or maybe here, I don't know, if there's somebody else coming. Yeah, you can sit here. Okay. Can sit here. Or somebody coming? Somebody coming. Oh, you can come here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's know. see. Over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Can we sit here? No, it's friends. Okay, okay. 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 What do you want to give a try first? Look at this mountain of curry right mountain here. Mountain of uh, chili and curry and pepper. It looks really tasty. Is this camera still on? Yeah, it is still on. <laughs> I was just recording, so recording the whole time. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. Act I'm so excited about everything. I don't even know what to try first. That's the chicken. Oh, chicken skin. Chicken skin. Oh my god. What the real deal? <laughs> that is the real deal right there. Mm. Oh, also yeah, have fish a sauce, nice. No, it's not fish sauce. It's not fish sauce, chili sauce. Chili and vinegar, I think. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's so good. Mm. Oh my god. They are absolutely incredible. The tastiest of all snacks. Mm. These are actually usually very affordable and they are at this market very affordable. Next level though, they hold so much flavor and so much crunch. So many calories. So many calories, yeah. Mm. Quail eggs, can I go in with those? Yeah, I'm trying to pick them apart. They're a little bit stuck together. Check this one out, how cute is that? So small. Pop it in. Mm. Super easy. They're so nice. Yeah. Mm. You want with pepper or without pepper to try? Oh, just a little bit of pepper, not not too much. The lady like literally emptied the pepper over it. Mm. Oh good. yeah, very very strong taste of soy off of that the soy sauce. Oh, she asked us mm. <laughs> if oh, we wow. wanted soy sauce. Mm. Yep. That's really good. Very, nice. very very tasty and 30 baht for i think like eight like eight quail one, two, eggs three. in one packet we already ate three one two three four five, nine six, seven, eight eight eight, eight nine. or nine twelve i think nine <laughs> that's very good value mm. this chicken skin here is uh yeah Superior. i think it's probably naomi and i is like up there with our favorite we always get this it's like a fail-safe thing that we get whenever we go to a night market. It explains why we're so chunky. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I can sing the angels. I can hear the angels sing hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. You can get denim jeans over there for 150 baht. They have jeans over there for literally 100 baht. That's crazy. Mm. Very, very cheap. They look nice too. I don't actually know how to eat this. I'm we very excited to eat this. Uh, we don't actually have any cutlery. Maybe we, we're we're losing out here on something, or we're missing something. Or maybe this is actually to bring home. I think usually you would eat it over rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Do you have your fish cupcake? Oh my God, I'm very mm. nervous about this one because she said it's not spicy, but it looks very spicy. It's inside this as well, which is a uh, banana leaf. Mm -hmm. yep. And it has a very like interesting consistency too. Have a look at that. I think it's like quite literally like straight up fish condensed into a cake form of sorts and then topped off with this red chili on top. So I'm gonna give it a bite. Oh wow, okay. The oh wow good or oh wow bad? Oh wow, like in a very interesting way. So 
<laughs> if you can imagine a pad crab pail, right? The way that tastes with the holy basil. Imagine that like condensed into a cake. The holy basil taste with the chili as well. And then this stuff over the top. I don't know what this is. What is that? I've actually no idea, but it is incredibly interesting. And the flavor from it is some of the strongest that I've ever had. It is quite spicy as well. So keep that in mind. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to give this a try? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, it's uh, one of the more unique flavors that I've had in a very, very long time. I don't Just think I like, like it very much. Mm. Oh, you know what that tastes like? What? Remember in Song Kla, we went to a very local restaurant and they had catfish curry. Oh, yeah. That's what that tastes that like, what like tastes the like. catfish curry. Yeah, so the fish. Sort of. My hands are very oily right now. But the, the fish taste off of it is very, very strong. So if you are someone that doesn't particularly enjoy fish, it might be a little bit difficult for you. Plus, there is quite a kick off of the chili. Keep in mind when someone tells you that it's not spicy, and they're saying it to, to you as like, if you, if you are coming from the West, pretty much everything in Thailand is going to be spicy if you're coming from the West. This is not not very spicy but the flavor of it is very very intense and it's something that you might have to get used to something that i would have to get used to it's not it's not bad though like i don't think it's very fishy or bad or anything i think it's, not it's bad. I will, just unique i will definitely uh, continue eating it time to uh, cleanse the palate though because i think next up we're gonna try or we're gonna have some of our favorite fried chicken and genuinely this is our favorite fried chicken it's so good trying to offer our crispy chicken <laughs> skin. <laughs> she said no. Oh. Nice. Mm. Sorry. Uh, give it I'm a try. logistically challenged. Yeah, we have gigantic pieces of fried chicken right here, mm. drumsticks. This is the best chicken I think that we ever had. Oh yeah. Legitimately, like it's so good. It blows KFC out of the it water, by KFC. the way. It also, I feel like it also is better than most Korean fried chicken. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like Korean fried chicken usually has like a sweet glaze to it. Yep. Which is nice in terms of texture, but I don't like sweet chicken. So <laughs> this is sort of the positive version of a very, very fried, very crunchy, very out there chicken. And it's so juicy. Unbelievable. It's so nice. Oh my god. The crispy coating as well is so I good. I want to cry, it's so good. Yeah, this I'm is sure next level. I'm sure they fried it like 15 times at least. Yeah, that's the thing that I don't really understand is how they main, they manage to maintain the juiciness, the juiciness of the meat on the inside. It's very large. Portion size is fantastic and yet the value for your money is just unbeatable actually at this market that's why we're suggesting you to come and visit this market we're not at all not sponsored by anything to do with this place <laughs> i we wish we were sponsored by it. the fried chicken place <laughs> yeah we wish we wish we were sponsored by this fried chicken right here this is top quality it's too good so good it's literally so good that I'm lost for words. Like, I yep. just want to sit here and eat chicken. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> That's the thing. It's hard to even properly describe. The seasoning that goes into the batter, it's very, very simple. So like the flavor of it is not very complex, but the way that it's executed and the way it's done is just so good. I need a tissue. Mm. <laughs> so easy to eat too, which is quite dangerous. Because I could literally just sit here and eat this all night. 
It's as well every time we come here, the chicken is the same quality, so it's very, very consistent as well. Like you know, the, those types of places where sometimes you go and it's like a hit and miss or sort of type of a situation. I feel like that one chicken place just has the most consistent quality mm -hmm. and the juiciest, crunchiest chicken. It's just perfection. Yep. I'm already nearly finished it. This is so so good. here in quiet. <laughs> I don't even need to say anything anymore. It's really difficult to open this bottle. 10 out of 10. Mm. The way that you're gonna be able to locate this chicken place guys. Follow your nose. <laughs> follow your nose, yeah. When you come here, the food section that's at the back, where this You'll see this lighting structure, it's very, very easy to see. When you come in, just look for these lights, where the clothing area is. The chicken place is quite literally facing that. And a red, uh, red sign, I'm telling you, you won't regret it. You will not regret it. Can't let any go to waste either. finger licking. She Naomi, she needs to get her nails done. So she's uh, done. I need to get them removed. Needs to get them removed. <laughs> she has yeah. acrylic, acrylic nails. I and, got uh, Sunkran, Sunkran uh, colorful nails basically. Yeah. And um, I don't know, the, the lady where I had got them, I had gotten them done in Jot Fairs and the quality just wasn't great. They're sort of breaking off at the edges, so I need to get them redone, unfortunately, or yeah. removed for now. And uh, yeah, came here to do it. <laughs> and this place here seems to be the best place to do it because it's nice. It's in a quiet area of the market. And again, this is a local market, so this is where you're going to find the most like reasonable prices. There's a lot of nail places and like self-care places that are in like Judd Fairs and stuff like that. And they're obviously going to multiply the price uh, pretty much to as much as they want. Um, and a lot of the times the pricing lists will change and be altered depending oh, yeah. on who you are as well. Yeah, that was the thing in Judd Fairs. She, um, when I first sat down, she said like 650. And by the end it was like 900 something. So I don't know, it was a little bit weird overall. <laughs> Nice, uh, nice noise. Cool noise. So what she's doing now is I like she's like filing them off. Yeah, she's removing the color and the acrylic layer oh, of it. Oh, okay. Wow, very fast. It's like it's ASMR. So we never covered anything like this. We usually don't. <laughs> yeah, true. This is uh, definitely a first for us. We did the, like my haircut on the streets in Vietnam and that was like an interesting uh, thing to film. And this here is definitely something we haven't covered yet, so. As a guy, I always find the process of like getting nails done very interesting because I have no, absolutely no understanding really as to what goes into it. But I think it's quite a lot that goes into the whole procedure because you have like the application and then you have the material, you have the shaping of the material, you have the whole process of drying the stuff that you put on top, you have the color, you have everything. There's so many different steps. Oh my God. That's the funnest thing, try, Luke trying to explain the process of nails. Yep. <laughs> I think uh, that's a first for you as well. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Big fat sausage fingers. <laughs> you happy? Very happy. Yeah. Nice color as well. Good. Instead of the dark, the black colors all of the yeah. time, I think the blue is nice. It's nice. Yeah. Yes, we come Top back. Top Hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>